Hello, this is Tofu and Try for production with another Blender quick tip. And today my son Lucas wants to join me in the tutorial, so hopefully I'll be able to get through it uh, without very little interruption. You want to say hi, Lucas? Hi. Yeah, there you go, son. Hey, let's just jump into this tutorial. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I can do time lapse. This is actually a re, um, subscriber request. Uh, they asked about this like a long time ago, eight months ago, but. I uh, just was able to get to it just now, actually, because I've just seen the tutorial. Uh, let me see if I can pull up that request. And this request from, was from Muhammad uh, Hakim. He says, thank you, bro. This helps a lot for my assignment. Can you make a tutorial about time lapse in Blender from day to night? Uh, and I was trying to figure out a way to do it that would be, you know, pretty straightforward without having to use drivers or anything like that. But I just couldn't find a more straightforward way. But eventually I found someone actually built a an add-on that actually does it. And it's open source and it's free. And it works in uh, Blender 2.9 and above. And it's called Ultra Sky. And I'll show you how to use it. So let's delete this cube here. Let's delete that. And then after you've installed it by going to Edit, Preferences, I install, navigate to where you downloaded it after I've left the uh, link of the download in the description below this video. Navigate to where that is. And you click on that and press Install. Install that on. And my son's singing the song here. Then you, once that's been installed, let me type that in to our search bar, Ultra Sky. You just uh, activate it by clicking this checkbox and it's activated permanently in Blender and the next thing you're going to want to do is you know, have Blender open you have your open space here and when you open up the toolbar you'll see Awesome Sky here and then you just click on Do Magic and if you look around you don't see anything happening and with this add-on it works in Cycles and it works in Eevee but we're going to use Eevee just for the sake of this tutorial let's click on Eevee and then you still see nothing. And this is what you have to do to, act, to actually see it in the viewport. We're going to hover over this section here and have that turn to a plus sign. Left click and drag. And uh, yeah, yeah, Lucas, it's still dirty. My son's asking me a question. And the next thing you want to do is go up to this tab here. We're going to click on Shader Editor. I'm going to minimize this and turn this from object to world and then this comes up but you still see nothing happening in this section you're going to left click on that make sure this has a white border around it press delete then shift a go down to group and you'll see back old sky I mean I don't know if this add-on has a lot of different names attached to it which is kind of different I mean it's called ultra skies and here's called awesome awesome sky and here's called back old sky but it has something to do with sky just kind of ignore all the, the name the different names of it is still ultra sky and we're going to attach the shader node to the surface node and give this a few seconds and for some reason I think it's just a bug but it re reverts your viewport shading back to the original default shading and just click back on uh, the EV shader and there it is let me minimize this and it's pretty much self-explanatory all the options here let me expand this, left click and drag over there. You know, the sun brightness, sun scale, the color of the sun, uh, sky brightness, rotation on the X, Y, and Z axis, uh, sky height on X, Y, and Z, cloud scale, cloud default, and cloud roughness. But let's just, uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, let's just see what we can do with this. Now we have our clouds here, and we're going to do the sky brightness first. Let's turn on some more settings in Eevee. So you can get a better feel for what this add-on does. We're going to turn on Ambient Occlusion and turn on the Bloom. And when we turn on Bloom, you can see that the sun has more of a brightness to it. Uh, yeah, we're going to see all that good stuff, Lucas. And then we're going to turn up the sun brightness. And it, it's, it's subtle, but you can see it kind of getting bright in this area. And then the sun scale, which means the side of the sun, you can make it bigger or smaller, bigger, smaller. You can see that happening there. You can change the color of the sun, uh, the sky brightness, you know, daytime, middle of the day, nighttime. Turn that down. 
and then the, the rotation of the stars on the x-axis you can see it changes here same thing on the y-axis and the same thing on the z-axis and the sky height does the same on the x move on the x-axis move it on the y-axis and the z-axis and the cloud scale let's kind of pivot our camera so we can see the clouds better the cloud scale that affects the size of your clouds this really helps when you want to do a time lapse we want this, the clouds to move in the sky pretty rapidly and then we have the cloud detail this actually really shows you how to get very little detail in your clouds and a lot of detail I'm going to turn it down and you can see that the detail is pretty much lost to so turn it all the way up to 16 and that's detail oh good job Lucas and then the cloud roughness this also affects the clouds pretty obviously pretty it's pretty obvious how it affects the clouds you turn it down less detail or roughness turn it up all the way and you get get a lot more roughness in those clouds now just to show how easy this is in terms of making a time lapse I'm going to try to uh, simulate a time lapse in here from day to night just as we're recording this tutorial just to end off the tutorial I'm going to turn this let me let me end it at uh, let's say 80 have the the uh, time go to 80 <clears throat> excuse me and you can uh, animate all these uh, elements here all these um, amounts you can animate all of them just by pressing hovering your cursor over each uh, parameter here and just press I that's animated I animated I uh, hold on Lucas days gonna help you in a little bit days, days almost finished I and either 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 and I guess, I guess that's good let's go all the way to the end let's left click on this button and this causes um, causes this to jump to the last frame my sons want me to help him with something so now he's getting upset so I'm gonna have to kind of speed up the tutorial so I can help him jump to the end change these parameters here change that one a little bit all right let me turn this one down hmm, okay now he's yelling for me now let me press I here I here either let me go back to the beginning make the Sun bigger my son's crying for some help all right let me uh, let me play this so you can see how, how well it works time lapse wise and there you go there's a, li a live time lapse oh let me stop this let me make the sun smaller at the end uh, I gotta hurry and get out there my son is just yelling for me now hi there uh, play again and there we go sunset so yeah, this is Ultra Skies, a quick blender um, uh, add-on that you can use, a quick blender, quick tip also that you can use in your animations for time lapse in Blender. And I apologize again, but this is the only time I had to actually work on this tutorial before this evening, you know, um, expired or went out. But thank you guys who have listened to tutorials or watched my tutorials in the past and the ones you're watching, the one you're watching now. Thank you guys who have subscribed and those who who will subscribe in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.